Nigerians in Calabar express optimism of good governance as they expect a swearing in of incoming administration. Plus, state government discloses intention to immortalize the late Calabar South Local Government Council chairperson. Details of these and more shortly. Good evening. This is NTA Calabar News at 7. I am Maureen Leo Ajom, and now the news in detail. Few weeks to the swearing in of Cross River State Governor elect Prince Basi Utu, Nigerians from all walks of life are optimistic that the new government will better the lives of the common man as well as provide basic infrastructure needed for the socio-economic transformation of the state. The respondents bear the minds while reacting to the question, what are the expectations of the governor elect after May 29th swearing in ceremony? Arat Ndem tells us more. With the elections over and change of button by political office holders are diverged, Nigerians are full of expectations as they describe the days ahead as action time for elected officers. In Cross River State, the concerned Nigerians say the incoming governor should be innovative to mitigate the sufferings of the people and create a standard economy that would improve the living conditions of the people. The problem of waste also is affecting those places. Where they used to stay, they cannot stay again because it has been taken over by heaps of refuse. That the governor, that the, in fact from the first day, that's what I expect him to hit the road, the ground running with. We expect that definitely should do better than the outgoing governor. Because every father, in fact, the adage is that a son should be better than a father, or a daughter should be better than a father. So a, go a successful government should be better than the outgoing government. We're looking at security provision, job employment, agricultural development. We're looking at health. We're also going to look at majorly youth employment. Some stakeholders maintain that the incoming governor should operate an all-inclusive government with people-oriented programs and policies to enable the ordinary man on the street benefit from dividends of democracy. I'm looking at Tinapa. I'm just coming back from Tinapa now. What I've seen in Tinapa is an eyesore. If you look at the huge investment in that place, and it's not bringing anything food to the state. Look at the CICC. Look at what the answers did to us. So I will pray, let the incoming government do much on that to revive that, uh, that, that, those areas. If those areas are revived, there will be so much coming to this. There will be investors coming here. So I, I know that with what Prince has on ground, he is going to take off food on the table. And people will really appreciate the other, the idea Prince is coming with, the empowerment uh, uh, structure is coming with that will help build the children and feed them forever. They also appeal to the governor-elect to regularly interact with the people to be abreast with the condition of the state and the residents. In Calabar, Arut Ndem, NTA News. And Governor Ben Ayade has promised to immortalize the late chairperson of Calabar South Local Government Chair Council, Esther Basi, by naming a street after her in the local government area. The governor, who also revealed that the burial will be handled by the state, made the promise during a condolence visit to the family of the deceased in Calabar. Paul Abel completes the story. Esther Bassi, popularly referred to as the Queen of the South, died in active service as chairman Calabar South Local Government Council on the eve of the 2023 presidential election. Governor Ayade Wu describes the disease as a woman of character and energy, emphasized that she worked closely with his wife, Dr. Linda Ayade, to better the lives of women in Calabar South, the state, and stated that government will sponsor the children up to university level. The governor therefore encouraged the bereaved husband and other members of the family to take heart as our contributions to the ABC and the development of the state before our demise will not be forgotten. So ultimately, our people will say, so where were we born? Here's the answer. Just born to die. Because whatever you achieve on planet Earth comes to nothing at the dying place. And as I sit and reflect on all the very rich people that I know, big names from my hometown, and I see their death at the end. And I ask myself, was this like what it? So we give her the victory. 
And that's why part of my responsibility is to find a way we can actually canonize her and name a major street after her in Calabar South. To sincerely assure you that the state will stand by you, stand with you, now and take the family along. What we are going to do will be on the ordinary cost of burden so that he can provide a leverage for the scholarship of the children. Please be strong and God will continue to sustain you and help the family to bear this strong, impossible loss that God himself has suggested. The bereaved husband who appreciated the governor for the visit was overwhelmed by emotions while his son made a presentation to the governor. Governor Ben Ayade was accompanied on the visit by his wife, Dr. Linda Ayade, and members of the State Executive Council. In Calabar, Paul Abel, NTA News. That's it tonight. Thanks for watching.